Yes, yes, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam Paddy Projects and today we're going to be having a look at my Mitsubishi GTO Twin Turbo imported and I'm going to run you through the story of this car. It's absolutely insane. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back in time, have a look at some footage from last week, we're going to run through the car and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and my journey. I've had it for two years now, it hasn't been an easy two years, it's literally like it's a toxic relationship and the amount of money I spent on it is ridiculous. However, it's miles per gallon, so let's get it. All right, so we've got the 6G72 twin turbo engine in there with five speed manual transmission. So if we come around to the side, We'll see some Team Dynamics JDAR 19 inch wheels. Unsure as to the actual spec of them, but as you can see, they're really curved. Obviously, you've got the big, big brake calipers, serrated discs, drilled grooved. So, if we come around a bit further, we'll see this tints. Obviously, you've got the front um, windows tinted within legal parameters. The back is completely blacked out, but it's fine. We're going to get a camera in there anyway so we can see out the back end. Let's have a look at these. Oh, these are really curved as well. <laughs> look at the state of those. But yeah, there'll be a video on um, how to do that and yeah, just a quick run through. Obviously, we've got normal standard calipers on there because it um, started life as a non-turbo, but we'll get the better ones real, real soon. All right, so if we come around the back, we've got, obviously got the quad exhaust, the dual quad exhaust around here. It's really nice. It's a nice system. Obviously, that's a straight through on that as well. So yeah, a little angle on it there as well. Come around a little bit further obviously to the other side obviously all four wheels have been curved up so they were all going to get the um get the refurbishment treatment obviously we're sitting on bc racing coil over so they're sitting nice obviously they need a refurb as well but that's all going to be done that's all going to be nice as well so yeah that's a quick run through so we'll shut that hood and let's have a little look at it a little bit further back so let's have a look at the interior so it's in incredible shape for how old the car is obviously you've got the Apple Cup CarPlay head unit in there everything standard in here apart from that um, we've got subwoofer in the back as well aftermarket speakers but all your normal sort of stuff, seats and trims, all standard. All right, let's have a look at the engine bay. Obviously, we've got a lot going on here, all of this artwork. And if you're the guy who done this um, for the previous owner, hit me up on Instagram, Sam Paddy Projects. Like, dude, I need to, I need to get you back in my life, man. <laughs> but yeah, we've got all custom intercooler pipe in here. Um, it's all been welded, welded together really nicely. A couple of bends and whatnot obviously for ease of removal got the ram air intake here it's a pr pretty good kind of filter on there obviously induction kit and that kind of want to get that all chromed out got the aftermarket ignition coils as well aftermarket cooling pipes um to go with it and if we come a little bit closer see we've got a load of aftermarket parts there there'll be a spec list in the description and um, we've got the bc racing coilovers adjustable damping on those obviously they set the car up really nice like but let's have a quick look at this artwork oh it does not look nice so let's have a look at this fitment on these bc racing coilovers so if we come down that's the thing we've got the 19 inch wheels that fill the wheel well so we've got the hks intercooler front mount at the front needs a nice clean Come around here, hear a little metal on metal rat rattling. That's definitely coming from in here. I'm pretty sure if the camera will focus, it's that pulley there. So yeah, I've already replaced it once with a um, a second hand one. So I might just get the, the proper part, see if I can get it um, with me soon so I can get out on the channel replace that and see if it's that if not we'll keep going we'll have a look but yeah like everything if you know what's going on hit me up in the comment section because oh, oh, jack cars are hard to work on but what we'll do now we'll go out for a quick blast in it um yeah i'll just run you through the life of the car it's, pre it's a pretty interesting one to be fair but yeah 
Oh, let me set up the GoPro and we shall carry on. So, this car started life as a non-turbo um, manual imported um, GTO. So, yeah, the thing that really drew, drew me to this car was that it's just not very many of them. So, I just loved the look of them. I played them, played, um, uh, was it Gran Turismo 3? And I used to use this car, the Lancer, you know, chunking your dirt racing fucking tires on the Lancer and doing all of that. And yeah, I just, as soon as I got in it, it was like, yeah, this is my car, you know? Like, as soon as I got in it, even with all the, all the issues that it had at the time, and it's like, who doesn't like pop-up headlights? Like, come on, like everyone fucking loves them. But, um, but um, yeah, so since then, um, I've had one engine go on me already. Um, that was the original engine, was starved of oil. So I've got that sitting in the garage. So we're gonna do some absolutely mad stuff with that. We're gonna send it to space. Um, hopefully, I'm not, I'm not looking at it for this year. So this year, what I'm gonna be doing is um, get this current engine to 450, 500. I want to look for 500, but I also want it to be safe as well. Like, I don't want a car that's, okay, you've got 550, 600 brake. We're going to make it so it can, um, so the supporting mods, mods can do that on my built engine in 2020, 2022, I reckon I'll probably get that done. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we want to get it to a, a good power, have some fun in it, you know, daily it and get, get it to the track, have some fun, get it, get it done like that. Obviously, I'm trying to get the balance here of sort of the OEM plus look. Obviously, aesthetically pleasing in in that respect. Same thing with the interior. You know, we want some creature comforts. We want the heated seats. We want the reverse camera. We want the um, sensors. We want it to just be a nice place in here. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna get this steering wheel retrimmed. Get some Alcantara going on there. So we want to go OEM plus on the interior as well. Just to like bring it all together you know it's a 30 year old car now so we want to bring it up to 2021 standard you know so that given performance looks are timeless it's the classic it's always going to be timeless like it's always going to be well in my opinion always going to be one of the best looking cars on the road of course um but yeah we want to bring it all together and just make this into a absolute beast of a car as well as a classy car as well as a tuna's wet dream underneath the bonnet you know like we're just gonna bring it all together and make it 2021 perfect and in my opinion this is one of the best the best jdm cars you can get for your money right now like you can't you honestly can't go wrong you got a v6 twin turbo engine in it like there's so much possibility with it there is actually so much possibility with a good example you know if you're if you're like me and you bought impulsively and you know like you've got everything wrong with it and you've got to swap the engine and you've got to do this that the other i wouldn't i wouldn't say no don't do it because you kind of make it your own you know you've thrown the parts that you wanted it like you've done all your um sort of maintenance bits like your water pump your oil pump and you know all, all the little little bits like thermostat and all of that and you know you've got a sweet running car you know you've had a compression test you're still running good after 30 years you know i would say no don't do that but i would say know what you're getting yourself into because i didn't expect to spend so much money on this car i honestly didn't and that's the famous last words for everyone who buys a um older jdm car that you know has a few things wrong with it you think there's three things wrong with it there's really 20 things wrong with it so we're just going to stop in now grab some petrol and yeah the bit you've all been waiting for how it performs all right so we just got some fuel only premium goes in here quite costly one would say all right let's get on to some quicker speeded roads Woo! literally you just come alive it just makes you come alive this car man it's unbelievable
this. That's the thing, it just makes you smile, man. It just makes you smile. Yeah, the power delivery is so smooth. So, 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 so smooth. And with the 19 inch um, rims on there, ain't got the greatest tyres, but we're going to be putting on some um, Toyo Proxy Sports soon. Yeah, it's like with the 19 inch wheels, you just feel so planted. And I suppose that's the great thing about four wheel drive cars, you know, you have, you have that extra confidence that you ain't going to get that oversteer or understeer. Right, let's go for a second gear pull. standard like that's where we're going for that's what we're going for you know OEM plus in the interior and all the gadgets OEM plus on the exterior not taking away you know your classic look of it because that'd be wrong you know you can't take away too much from classic cars I hate it when people do it you know we don't want like black like mads neons and shit like that we just want it to look you know look good like it like it's supposed to look like that if that makes sense but under the bonnet open season open season everything every performance modification i can get my hands on obviously as as the money permits you know i've got to keep working that nine to five literally haven't had any any opportunities to um take take time off work right now because of corona key worker and that like you just got to keep keep pushing doing that overtime chucking it into the car saving chucking it into the car because you know like it's, it's the passion we've all got the passion so that's the thing, if I'm living on ramen noodles, I'm living on ramen noodles, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we've got a bridge. <laughs> oh, you can't beat it, man, you can't beat it. Yeah, one of the things I like most about this car is, you know, the interaction you get with car enthusiasts, you know? Like, it's not every day you see this car. So, you know, you've got your, your older boys who've either owned one or know someone that's owned one. And, you know, this was the car that they always wanted back in the day. And, you know, you strike up a conversation, you find out things about the car that you just didn't know. You know, especially me getting into getting into this car, having not done a huge amount of research before buying it. Because I was originally going to buy a Skyline. But then, you know, the one I was going to buy fell through. It was really well priced and someone else bought that and then I was looking around to get another one and then I would have needed an extra few grand on top and I thought, do you know what? Okay, I'm not getting the Skyline. Like, it just wouldn't make sense. Like, I wouldn't be able to afford it. So, you know, I, I saw this car and I was just like, that is a project and a half. You know, I know I know it's rough around the edges and I didn't know much getting into it. And I kind of almost just like sort of like fell into it. So, yeah, it's like when, when you're speaking to people when, and you know, people are telling you things about your car is sick. It's, it's amazing. Um, and also the younger generation as well. They don't have a clue what they're looking at. Well, unless they're young and fused us. But they're just like, well, what is that? You know, you kind of get that sort of, oh, is that a Ferrari kind of look, you know? And when you can actually, you know, turn around and say, you know, this is a uh, 991 Mitsubishi GTI twin turbo imported, blah, blah, blah. Like, and they're just like, oh, that's sick. And especially when they see the engine bay, like it's always good because got like a very broad spectrum of people that appreciate the car and I feel like that's very important you know like you don't want to be driving something that's just like oh that's just this oh that's just that no like for me I just love driving something special and I love interacting with people and you know just talking as you can probably tell by watching this video but <laughs> but yeah like that's just one of the pluses about this car
250Z uh, to say hello. That's how you do it JDM style. But, uh, let's go. Second gear pull. Guys, um, little vlog on the Mitsubishi GTO Twin Turbo. Um, I've got a couple of other special cars coming up as well that I'm also working on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, consider subscribing, yeah, consider liking, sharing, all of that. So, yeah, it's your boy Sam Paddy Projects up in the beast, and yeah, look forward to more content coming out.